Welcome to another board game review. Today I'll be reviewing a little game by Fantasy Flight called Magblast 3rd Edition. It's part of their uh, Silver Lion game, so it's actually pretty easy to learn to new people. Uh, plays ages 10 and up, 2 to 8 players, playable in 10 to 20 minutes. Some games will go shorter, some games will go longer, depending on um, the, how familiar the players are with the game and their strategy. What you get inside the box, you get a small rule book, which does a pretty good job of explaining the rules to you. Then you get the cards, because it's a card game. You get race cards with all different kind of races. These are your comical sci-fi uh, kind of things. Then you get all your battleships. Your battleships you'll be placing next to your command ship and your command ship are your alien races in the beginning of the game you get to draw six uh, battleships and you get to keep four you place them face down one in each zone um, the other two are discarded to the discard pile then you have the action cards the action cards, which is a pretty large deck, form the meat of the game. This is how you will be playing the game. So, what are you going to be doing? You have your command ship, and each alien power you have, like here is the Alpha Mazones, give you a special power that lets you break the rules in some way or another. Three times per game, during your attack phase, you may play a direct hit effect after a blast without playing a direct hit. So that's a special power for the Alpha Zones. Then, when you have your spaceships, they all have different values. As you can see here, this is the movement value. So this means your spaceship gets to move two zones. So during your movement phase, you get to move your ships one, two zones. Not all of them will have a movement value of two. Here. It has the damage value printed on it. This is how much damage it can take before the ship is destroyed. And here are the lasers it can fire. So this ship can only shoot the yellow lasers, which are actually the weakest ones. Here we have the Dreadnought, which has a movement value of zero, but can fire two lasers, the green ones and the red ones. The red ones being the Mag Blast and the most powerful and it has a damage value of 9 so pretty strong but you can't maneuver it the carrier is a special ship it lets you play squadron cards squadron cards I will be explaining later so now we get to the action cards the action cards you have a lot of different kinds of action cards but I'll be going over the basics first off you have your blast card so here is a laser blast which can be played by ships with the yellow laser symbol on them they do one damage so if you successfully play a blast card on a ship you place it underneath there as so to indicate that you dealt one damage to that ship you can only attack ships in the corresponding zone of another player so if you would be shooting with a ship that is placed in the yellow zone you can only fire at the opponent's yellow zone so that's why maneuvering the ships is very important because you're trying to destroy these command ships that's the point of the game to be the only one left and destroy all the command ships of, of the other players so that's the laser blast the beam blast exactly the same thing only it lets you fire from ships that can shoot the green lasers and it does three damage the mag blast is lets you fire it from ships that can shoot the red lasers let you deal five damage so it's a very powerful and you as you can notice it has a symbol on there these are your resources you can pay resources to buy new ships to put into your fleet every zone can have uh, a maximum of three ships the way you do this is by either paying three of the same kind so as you can see here you have that rectangle 
um, either you pay three of the same kind or three of a different kind and then you get to draw the top card keep it in your hand or play it in a, in a zone you like then we have the direct hit cards the direct hit cards are something special the direct hit cards you can play after you play a blast card and let you either play another blast card from the same ship which isn't allowed normally because when a ship fires it can only fire once but when you play a direct hit if, uh, card it lets you fire again or lets you play a direct hit effect the direct hit effect I will read it to you this one is called catastrophic damage direct hit effect play on an enemy ship on which you just played a direct hit that ship is immediately destroyed so they have pretty powerful effects ranging from getting you to draw cards from another player uh, other players hands to immediately destroying their ship then you have these the squadron cards like the bomber and the fighter these can only be launched from the carrier which I referred to earlier you have to have a carrier to launch squadrons now the main difference between the bomber and the fire is the bomber lets you deal 4 damage but um, you can only attack a ship in the same corresponding zone as with the blast rules the fighter on the other hand lets you attack a ship in any zone so it's a little bit more handy but it only deals 2 damage but um, it also on any turn play to cancel an attack bomber or discard to cancel an attacking fighter so it lets you um, can't react to other squadron cards um, they work a little bit different than blast cards in that uh, when you play them they do damage but at the end of the turn they come back to your hand and the damage is gone as well so if you didn't destroy the ship nothing happened here we have an evasive action you have a lot of different kinds of these these let you uh, cancel blast squadrons or direct hit effects so this will let you outmaneuver these the minefield will let you block another player's zone so if you play it on the other player's yellow zone those ships can't move or play blast or squadron cards the asteroid field is the same thing but in reverse so you place it on one of your zones and nobody can shoot at your ships or play squadron ships on uh, squadron cards on your ships you also have reinforcement cards which let you draw another one of your fleets and like this is one of the many different cards that are in the game is the ramming speed it lets you uh, ram the other player and deals the movement value as damage so it's a pretty desperate thing to do but if it will uh, give you that one point you need it's a pretty good card to play so what do I think about the game overall the game is pretty simple the only thing that I don't like about it is the artwork I'm not a big fan of John Kvalik I did like Munchkin a little bit but I'm not the biggest fan. My girlfriend likes it a lot, but I don't. I would have preferred the second edition, but I couldn't get it anymore. Um, that being said, I don't play with the special rules that make you do special noises whenever you hit uh, another ship or it misses. Uh, but all in all, it's a very, very, very fun game, which I do like to play a lot of times with a lot of different people it's very easy to teach and a lot of people will get into it pretty quickly so if this is the kind of game for you i cannot recommend it enough it's a really good game so i hope you enjoy this little review and probably see you next time or i hope so bye